Hello and welcome to another video. Today is January 2nd and I just got a couple packages delivered and I'm really excited. I think I know what's in them. I've ordered a whole bunch of stuff recently. Just kind of went through the things I need and just ordered stuff. So I'm gonna open up these boxes and show you what I got. And hey, Lila's like, yay, a box for me. So if you're new here, my name is Brandy, and this channel is all about horses and my journey with horsemanship. So if you want to learn more about horses or follow my journey, you can start by hitting that subscribe button and be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos. I am going to be posting a video every single day for the month of January. Some will be older videos, some will be brand new vlogs, but you won't want to miss any of them. Okay, so, aha, this is blanket for Miss Kitty. If you've been following Miss Kitty's story, you saw that we had some episodes with her. She is the one horse that I have that I'm a little concerned about staying warm over the winter, so I ordered Miss Kitty a winter blanket. Um, I know a lot of people have questions about blanketing, so I only will blanket if I absolutely have to, so I feel like it's necessary for her. So I'm really excited to try this on her. And let's see what else I have. I hope it fits. This is by, I wasn't sure what to get. This is by Tough One. That had pretty good reviews. So comment below, let me know what kind of blanket you use. Oh, and this is not what I expected. I've got some other really fun things coming. This is just supplements. So I use, there's a few of my horses that get this gut supplement and it's um, for digestive and GI support. So I give this to Rosie and a couple of my other horses. Rosie, if you followed her story last year, we had an issue with her. So she gets this as a preventative. And then also I got some Mare Ease. This is a supplement for mares. It helps with like their cycles and stuff. So I got this for Cinnamon because she has really, really, really terrible cycles. I've been giving her Mare Magic and that seems to work okay, but this has some other things in it and I'm anxious to try it. So. There's that. My kids are gonna ride. I've got lessons coming in a little bit and just gonna feed some horses. That's what I've got going on right now. I have to show off Rosie's super cute little setup now. We got, and look at how matchy her and Bodie are. Totally not planned at all, but. Green, green, green. green. And give yep. me that thing that's on her butt. Yeah, I'll explain the thing on her butt. So Rosie's got a new saddle pad. I finally found a pad that fits Minnie's well. And then this is a little Wintech lead line saddle. Uh -oh. And we had problems with the saddle going up over her head. And I'm still, I still need to figure out what to do Western wise. But for keeping the saddle from sliding forward, she now has a crupper. This was supposed to be mini size and it was, I had to cut probably that much off of the end. So this is definitely not mini size, but it works. I've got it figured out. Mommy, she's gonna catch you. I'm out of breath. <laughs> and these are just for extra safety. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think those are for safety. <laughs> and mommy, I can <laughs> run if you want. These are for like you can grab onto these and do that. No, those are supposed to connect onto like if your saddle was different, they would connect onto the. My saddle the billets has underneath. Them. That's not what they're for. My saddle. But you can do whatever you want with them. I'm Doesn't just doing right this now. for extra safety. Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> He does. He's such a good boy. He's like, I love you. Hey, Mr. Man. Oh, she thought you were chasing her away. Hey, Mr. Man. You look so much like you. I know. 
Little buddy. Just don't let him nibble on you. Well, I'm done with lessons and silly me. I mean, it was, oh, 38 degrees today or so. And I came out with just a vest and a sweatshirt on, not thinking, oh, it's gonna cool off a whole bunch. So I get three quarters of the way through my lesson and I'm absolutely freezing. Thank goodness somebody put this jacket in our free bin. Um, I feel like a Viking, but at least it's warm. So now I'm gonna grain all of my horses it's great because most of my herd got work today. So over half of them are up in the arena right now and the rest are out in the pasture. So the ones that are in the pasture, I'm gonna bring them in, grain them, put them back out, and then take the ones down from the arena and grain them, put them back out. I have to show you this. So we call these teddy bear caterpillars around us. Um, and the funny thing is I've never seen one of these here in the winter before. They're so cute. They curl up in a little ball. But usually we see these in the fall, not during the winter. So it's kind of weird that this little guy is just kind of hanging out. But probably for five or six days now, it's been in the barn and I keep moving it because it keeps ending up on the floor and I'm afraid I'm going to step on it. So I keep putting them up on this shelf. Oh yeah, silly. Sometimes what I do is after a lesson, my lesson horses, they all get their grain in the arena because I have other horses in stalls down in the other barn. So I just feed them their grain up here because it's easier. Miss Kitty already had hers, but she's certain that she needs more. And Rosie and Bear have to wait their turn. Yes. They have to be patient little ponies and wait. Amelia is the one who did all the drawings for my t-shirts and such. Hi, Bear. So Amelia's home from college right now, so she's getting a ride in. Say hi, Amelia. Hi. <laughs> Bear. Speaking of, I have some pictures of Nelly in my car. Oh, sweet. Yay, did you guys hear that? That means that Nelly, the horse that Amelia's riding right now, is going to be on shirts, mugs, iPhone cases, all kinds of merch, you name it. So that's exciting. Little Miss Rosie is going to be next. Is that good stuff, Annabelle? Annabelle gets, well, she's got a chunk of apple in her bucket, but Annabelle gets Neutrina Safe Choice Original. She gets California Trace, which is a Great supplement for their hooves. Muffin is the type of horse to completely lick her feed pan totally clean and then demand more. Muffin has Cushing's disease. So she gets this little pink pill. I, for, I think it's called Percent. I don't know. I forget, actually. And she also gets California Trace, and she's on Neutrina Safe Choice Original. I didn't catch it on video, but Tova fell off bare tonight. Um, you know, she was having so much fun, too. They were just walking along the rail, and a big chunk of ice and snow fell off the roof right next to where she was riding, and Bear jumped sideways real quick and Tova just, she had, there was really nothing she could do. She hit the ground, but she landed really good. She's come off so many times in the last year and she's just such a trooper. You know, whether it be her pony jumping over a, um, a puddle that is like four feet wide <laughs> or, you know, like snow falling off the roof or um, he gets frisky and throws a buck or dives his head down to eat grass. You know, she's, she's kind of been through a lot with that pony, and I'm really proud of her because she always gets right back on. Oh, well. It happens. Cowgirl up.
I haven't brought Nika and Manzer into the arena for a while. I'll have to do that. They could use a good roll in the sand. A lot of people ask me what that circle is on Nika's hip. If she walks by again, you'll be able to see it, but there's a circle on her right hip and that's a birthmark. So some people ask if it was an old injury or anything like that. And nope, super simple. She was born with it. Uh, Manser still nurses a little bit, but it's not very often. A lot of times he'll just kind of like reach under there. I think more out of habit than anything. <laughs> and, um, but her udder is actually getting really small. So I know that there's really not much going on there anymore. Like how Blossom pushes him back out. <laughs> Muffin, you're going beautiful. Muffin is one of my absolute favorite lesson horses. Everybody adores Muffin. She's such a good girl. She really is. Look at there's Nellie and Amelia <laughs> drew Nellie. And we've got three different variations. She made some with thinner lines and some with thicker lines. Look at that. So now I have to choose between these three which one I want to try to put on some merch. The cool thing about this is all the people that get to ride these horses, oh, Bear likes it. <laughs> all the people that get to ride these horses, they can also wear shirts with their favorite horse on them. So that's pretty cool. And like all my horse camps and stuff, we'll have pictures the t-shirts will have pictures of the horses this year so. <laughs> so that's pretty awesome amelia is super talented <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay, Kitty's blanket. now it's 30 degrees tonight so i'm not going to leave this on her but i definitely i make i make sure to try it on to see if it fits so this is i've been waiting it's a little too warm out right now though. Um, I think that if I left it on her right now, I'd risk her getting too warm, which is just as bad as them getting too cold in my opinion. So I don't want that at all. I got her a 72 inch. And how I measured her is just right from the center of the chest to the center of the tail. So hopefully I got the right size. It's a pretty color on her. When it's, you know, the wind chill's bad or we've got, um, you know, some rain, I'll feel a lot better about her having this. She just doesn't have the insulation that she should have in my opinion right now to keep her warm. Let her roll. We'll put this on on a colder day. You know you want to. I know how to get her down. <laughs> She's like, okay, fine. <laughs> Well, that's it for today's video. <laughs> if you want to learn more about horses or follow my journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment below and let me know what kind of stuff that you would like to see. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.